Los Alamos National Laboratory, created for the Manhattan Project and the site of historic scientific breakthroughs ever since. Now the laboratory is completing the cycle and cleaning up the legacy of Manhattan Project and Cold War work. Thanks to $212 million from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, the laboratory is able to accelerate the cleanup and provide much needed jobs and economic opportunity for northern New Mexico. Today you're going to see something very unique that we've not seen for a long time. We're going to see the Los Alamos skyline start to change. On December 1, 2009, the lab began large-scale demolition on a complex of more than 20 Cold War era buildings. The complex, known as Technical Area 21, is the laboratory's second generation of buildings. The walls, now coming down, housed plutonium production and weapons research, as well as historic non-weapons research. Scientists here isolated the first gram of the element americium-241, later used in smoke detectors. And they developed the plutonium heat sources for the Galileo and Cassini space probes. Public and worker safety is the top priority. We want to make sure the community is safe, and so we have a rigorous air monitoring program, and we are taking samples real time, and we are evaluating what is going on with the groundwater. So our primary uh, priority in getting this work done is safety, and that is something we will never compromise. Workers gutted the buildings, removing hazardous materials such as asbestos or lead paint before the demolition started. Water helps suppress the dust. Real-time air monitoring is used to make sure nothing harmful migrates off-site. In certain buildings, very little contamination does remain. Rubble from the buildings used for nuclear research and production will be sent to licensed disposal facilities in approved transportation containers. Once the buildings come down, the lab will begin analyzing the soil underneath. Contamination will be removed to protect people and the environment. It's part of an agreement with the state of New Mexico. But as we look at today, and we get ready to uh, destroy one of the buildings up here that has been important to the lab over the years and is a symbol of things that are changing and is a symbol of things getting better and is a symbol of the lab doing its job for the citizens of the state of New Mexico, and that's to protect and sustain the environment of the state of New Mexico and especially around here. The laboratory expects this Recovery Act work to create or save more than 300 jobs, most with small business subcontractors hired to do the work. The workers will receive valuable training in complicated cleanup jobs, training that can be used elsewhere. Protecting people and the environment while creating jobs and economic opportunity. The Recovery Act at work at Los Alamos National Laboratory.